The disturbing video was captured inside this Franklin Elementary School by the father of the under arrest nine year old. He tells me his son was fighting back against bullying, but a witness is telling us a different story. Another student was bullying my son. Ronnie Shepard says his nine year old son is on the autism spectrum. He actually told the uh, principal and a lot of staff members here and you know in charge of recess or lunch about the bullying they didn't take no steps to protect anything. He says his son was fighting back against a bully. It's either you take it and let somebody beat on you or you go forward and protect yourself and that's what I've asked him to do. So I, I'm, I'm proud of what he done. His son, who we aren't naming, was charged with battery and criminal mischief. Police say he battered a student and two teachers. We talked to a student who saw the whole thing. We're concealing that student's identity over safety concerns. He told me Shepard's son tried to take a butterfly another student was playing with and the other student walked away. The kid went behind him and pushed him down and then started choking him. A teacher tried to break it up. The kid um, uh, jumped onto the back of the teacher and started choking her. Eventually, another teacher ended the fight and Shepard was called in. It's his claim his son was being bullied by the other student. Does he get bullied? Um, uh, the, no, he does not. He's like sort of a bully himself. Shepard says he would like to see more intervention from school staff in bullying situations. He said he has not spoken to the other students' parents. In the police report, it even stated that they told the mother if I come anywhere near him to call the police immediately. Johnson County prosecutors eventually dropped all charges against his son. And this week, Shepard released the video of his son's arrest. I was told by prosecutor and attorneys to withhold the video and the pictures until charges were dropped or court was settled. He says he's trying to raise awareness about bullying in Franklin schools. His son has since moved to an alternative school. Shepard says he's doing much better there. Shepard tells me he was considering filing a lawsuit against the school district, but that he has since changed his mind. All the charges against his nine-year-old son have been dropped. Reporting from Franklin, Graham Hunter, RTV6.